Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video review and in today's episode we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Netflix series War for Cybertron Alita 1. Now this is actually an interesting figure and I'm actually quite happy that I got this one because this was another deluxe figure that the second one I really wanted to add to my collection and I'm really super excited to review this one because this figure looks amazing and I'm pretty sure it's the same retool and stuff for um, Earthrise RC. I mean, that's my beliefs about it. But yeah, no, we picked her up at Walmart and stuff like that. And this one, I'm quite excited to review. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna show you guys the packaging. So right here, there's a nice open window that fully showcases the figure, Transformers Netflix and War for Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers Generation text logo, and Alita 1, of course, Autobot. And then on the side here, you do have Alita 1 on the box art cover side there. And then for the back of the package, she does transform in 15 steps and has an amazing Cybertronian vehicle mode along with robot mode there. And of course, for this side, same as the kind of Siege one, because I don't know, does Siege have um, the Quintesson? I'm not sure. I think this is more of the uh, Earthrise one, actually. I'm not 100% sure because, I mean, like, there's a Unicron. I really never paid attention to this side. But um, I'm pretty sure this is pretty much the same as um, Earthrest because, I mean, there's the Quintesson. So, anyways, guys, that's about it for the packaging. So, let's go on ahead and get her out here and see how cool she really is. And here we have Elita 1 opened up and out of the packaging. And by far the way this figure looks, I like this vehicle mode because of the way it looks okay first and foremost the way it looks i like it yeah let me see if i got this down on the way hold on I'm trying to make sure i got this down on the way i'm not sure if i did because when you do it like that like that so for the first thing, it rolls nicely, okay. Just the number one thing is that these, you just gotta kind of arrange these two bits down here. But other than that, it's a very nice figure and a very nice vehicle mode as well. So, I actually, so first and foremost, the weapon does store down at the bottom for storage, of course. Just go ahead and put that back. It does store quite well under there. It took me quite a while because I looked on the instructions. I couldn't find anything. And I had to kind of like look around and see where this possibly could go. Because I was actually kind of like looking around just a bit. I'm not sure. Wait. Wait a minute. Does it store up here? I was actually quite... Wait, hold on. No. I'm not. No. I'm not that lucky to find something like that on the roof. I thought it would be like Chromia. But no. But yeah, until I found like a compartment down here where it stores, and I'm like, finally, I found something that it can finally peg into. But yes, very nice. I like this. The sculpting on this vehicle is very nice. I do really like this one. The white on the front of the vehicle is quite nice. I like the upper section of the vehicle with white. That gives it some color and stuff that it's, it's better to have this on here. Instead of like that plain red throughout the, I mean, it'd just be completely red. But um, I do like how they added white paint for the headlights up here, like in a way for each side. And then on top, white paint, of course, with very nice detailed with the Autobot symbol. And of course, you do have some blue plastic here. It's very nice. I don't know if I can find any way to kind of put this like that but it, i guess it'll work it'll work it's hardly noticeable really but uh here's the rear of the vehicle and here's the front of the vehicle and side to side bottom of the vehicle and of course top of the vehicle they did add some gray plastic there for the seats and the glove compartment there or no center console right there they did add a steering wheel right there as we can see they added a steering wheel Kind of looks like a little stereo right there. 
So yeah, they really did go full detail for this. So, I mean, that's really nice that they did that. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into transformation. So what you guys want to first, secondly do, there's like a button on the side that you can push right here. Just kind of push that away. Well, actually, we're not going to get anywhere unless we fold out these legs. Kind of bring these out. That way we can get this entire, like, top section out. And that is another thing I don't like. But no, I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And then we're going to go on ahead, straighten up the legs like so. Each side like so. Kind of straighten up the legs. Pull out the feet, like that. Then, of course, kind of get that gun out of the way. And twist the head all the way around. Gonna go on hinge, just kind of move up the camera just a tad bit. And what we got here, just kind of fold these in, bring this entire section down. And there, she is roughly fully transformed. This is roughly Chromia. She's not hard to transform, really. I mean, for the first time, maybe, but once you start to get used to, to it, it, it won't be that bad. So go on ahead and do stuff like that. So if you want the hoverboard, we'll go on ahead and just leave it there for a moment, and we'll go on ahead and take a look at the figure's detail. But for here, we can see nice head sculpt, of course. And probably need to bring this in further just a bit. Like so. Detail, head sculpt's really nice. But no, this figure is quite amazing. I do like the detail. The backpack's not that big, unless you kind of add like the backpack like this on there, which will just add like that, really. But no, I prefer to keep that off and use it as a hoverboard. But yeah. Then of course, she does hold the weapon as well, just not the greatest. I don't know if Toy Hacks maybe have like a weapon, an armory weapon for Very Well Might from Patriot Primes. Let me have to look into that. But yes. There she is. Fully transformed. But yeah. It's very nice how they were able to design this figure. I think it's worth 20 bucks. I need to get Earthrise RC though. I need to get her... She's roughly, I believe, the last one I need for the Earthrise so far. I don't think they'll add an Earthrise or um, Chrome yet, will they? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, nope. This is her in robot mode. And of course, if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and just pull the camera out just a bit. You can go on ahead and bring the camera out just a tad bit. So then you can go on ahead and put her on the hoverboard. If that is what you so desire, like this. Let's see, go like that, and like that. It's just not the greatest, though. Here, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's just not the greatest to kind of put on here. I'm not a big fan of how this is designed. It just kind of gets the figure all mucked up. It's not the greatest. I do not like... It's it's not going to do it for me in this. It is not going to do that for me. And she's getting the figure all mucked up. But no, this is just the hoverboard that you can just put it on, but it's not the greatest. It really is not. So, yeah, that's the hoverboard, but of course you can just fold these in like so. Put this on her back. I kind of feel like I'm grinding down on the plastic when I do that. Just kind of put this up on there. There we go. It's a bit tough, but you could just gotta squeeze it on. But yeah. I just mostly prefer to keep it off, but 
this might as well show you but no this is a little one for the netflix series so anyways guys i do hope you guys did enjoy this video be sure to like comment share and subscribe and help support the channel we are close to 800 subscribers i do appreciate this i really do all the support and everything for the channel so anyways guys thank you all for watching the video